the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire video. In this video, I will be discussing the amazing new update regarding HBO's upcoming Game of Thrones series, A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. Based on George R. R. Martin's three novellas, A Night of the Seven Kingdoms will highlight what happened during the incredible adventures of Duncan Egg. HBO has released a short description about the show, and it says, A century before the events of Game of Thrones, there were some unlikely heroes wandering Westeros. They were a young, naive but courageous knight, Sir Duncan the Tall, and his squire Egg, also known as Aegon Targaryen. Set in an age when the Targaryen line still holds the Iron Throne, and the memory of the last dragon has not yet faded from living memory, Great destinies, dominant foes, and dangerous exploits all await these improbable and incomparable friends. Now, for those of you who might not know, this new show has already been given a full series order from HBO. George R. R. Martin has even said he's already seen the amazing script for the first episode. Well, now that the writers and actors' strikes are finally about to end, HBO is ready to finish developing the first season of Dunkin' Egg. We have some very exciting new information, thanks to the casting director, Lucy Bevins. The Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire fandom are now in a frenzy after seeing what she shared on her social media. Now, before I reveal her exciting new update, I have to let all of you know about this amazing new game. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Dungeon Hunter 6, the latest addition in the Dungeon Hunter franchise. After several releases starting back in 2009, they now welcome the highly anticipated addition to this renowned series, and I can assure you that the wait was incredibly rewarding. Now, Dungeon Hunter 6 is a mobile ARPG with a unique hero collector feature and a stunning fantasy style. This gameplay features a fast-paced combat style with various builds and skills to utilize as you fight big bosses. And what I love most is, it's absolutely free to play. You can download it now using the link in the description or by scanning my QR code on the screen. In Dungeon Hunter 6, killing a boss is not the end. For every boss you want to defeat, the game has a unique mechanism by which you can not only loot, ride, and fly them, but also summon up to three of them onto the battlefield to become members of your Quaid. You can make them follow you anywhere and perform combo skills. You can also shapeshift into them to harness the ultimate power when you reach the late game. This is such a cool mechanism that I haven't seen done in the genre before. There is over 100 uniquely designed bosses to conquer and explore new classes and units updated monthly. The fun of utilizing them in battle is endless. Now, Dungeon Hunter 6 takes its 3D graphics performance to the next level with stunning skill animation optimized for multicasting, ensuring that you have the best visual experience and smooth this combat on mobile devices. You can download this amazing new game for free on both Android and iOS by using my link in the description or by scanning the QR code on your screen if you're viewing it on PC to get a special starter pack worth $50, including 10 summoning scrolls, 1 SSR Lieutenant Demonic Wolf, and 1 accessory pack. Once you've downloaded Dungeon Hunter 6, you can use your game account to enter the launch lucky spin event for free to win great prizes like the new iPhone 15 Pro Max, a PS5, an Apple Watch, and lots more starting on October 15th. Make sure you check out my description for details, you don't want to miss out on this amazing new offer. Once again, I have to thank Dungeon Hunter 6 for sponsoring today's video. Alright my friends, now let's have a look at what A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms casting director shared on her social media. HBO is officially looking for their new Duncan Egg. They're in the middle of searching for actors they will need for the leading roles in HBO's upcoming series. If you're already familiar with the Duncan Egg novellas, then you know that's exactly who they're looking for based on these descriptions. It says HBO is looking for a young boy who's described as being physically small. It also says he should be wise beyond his years, as well as confident and witty. He must have a neutral English accent with white skin and blue or green eyes. He must be under 4 foot 6 inches and at least 9 years old by March of next year. Now I don't know about all of you, but I think that sounds exactly like Aegon. They're also looking for someone who can be a soldier, over the age of 18, but no older than 25. The soldier will need to be very tall and physically strong. He also has a humble disposition and is perceptive and thoughtful. They can be any ethnicity, but they must be at least 6 foot 4 inches tall. That's basically describing what Sir Duncan should look like. 
Now it sounds like HBO might want to start filming once they found all the actors they will need for the show. The new update has me very excited for what lies ahead for the Game of Thrones franchise. I know I'm not the only one looking forward to the day when HBO has many different Game of Thrones shows airing on their network each year. They're already done filming House of the Dragon second season, and now it looks like they're getting ready to start filming the first season for A Night of the Seven Kingdoms. Life is very good right now if you're a fan of Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire. Now, according to George R. R. Martin, they're expecting the first season to have around six episodes. On his Not A Blog website, he said Duncan Egg are coming to HBO. They have given us a green light to film for a full season, most likely of six episodes, though that is not set in stone, and won't be until considerably later in the developmental phase. As of right now, I have written and released three novellas about Duncan Egg, The Hedge Knight, The Sworn Sword, and The Mystery Knight. The first season will be an adaptation of the first novella, The Hedge Knight, the story of how Duncan Egg first met during a tournament at Ashford Meadow. The script for the first episode is already written, and I think it's terrific. It was written by Ira Parker, who is no stranger to Westeros. He was on Ryan Condal's writing staff for the first season of House of the Dragon, and he wrote the fourth episode of House of the Dragon's first season, King of the Narrow Sea. That's the episode where Daemon arrives back in King's Landing after conquering the Stepstones, and him and Rhaenyra go have their fun in Flea Bottom. They have yet to set a date for the series premiere, or even for the show to begin shooting, but the writing is well underway. Ira has already assembled a small, but very talented team, and they're already at it, building on the foundations in my first novella. Those Duncan Egg novellas are fully fleshed narratives more like the novels of A Song of Ice and Fire, rather than the imaginary history of Fire and Blood. The stories are right there on the page, and our goal is to make faithful adaptations of those tales for the screen. Now, you must remember, George R. R. Martin gave this update roughly six months ago. We can only assume they've done a lot more work since then. That's why they're ready to start looking for their lead actors who will become our Duncan Egg for the foreseeable future. Let's also not forget that George R. R. Martin himself will be writing on the show as well. Not only that, but he also said he wants to write more Duncan Egg novellas. As of right now, we might only get three seasons of the show since there's only three novellas, but he might end up writing more if HBO demands it. For now, we will have to wait and see how everything unfolds. As always, I will be here to give you an update every step of the way. Make sure you subscribe, that way you're always the first one to know whenever I release a new video. Once again, I have to thank all of you for watching this one. I hope each and every one of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon.